Hello guys, it's Johnson from johnsonyup.com. I'm going to teach you how to boot your computer from a, the install ISO for Ubuntu to boot, to recover files from a data virtual machine that can't start up or reach the login screen because of a virus that partition or some other problem. So first you go to your boot order and make CD the first one. Then you go storage for the CD-ROM and pick your install CD which is this one Ubuntu 10.04 and you press the left so you can also make another drive which I made earlier which is 604 megabytes and uh, by adding it with the wizard or I mean the new yep so yeah this is how you do it and, with, and click select this is the unbootable system drive and this is the recovery drive for copying your files. So you can also use USB to copy files onto if you want to copy them to Windows or your guest your host OS and then you go OK then you start the virtual machine don't go pause the video since it takes a few minutes yeah. so once your CD-ROM is booted you could click try Ubuntu 10.04 don't go pause the video since it takes a minute. So it booted into Ubuntu CD. So you see there's your USB flash drive which you attach. This is the Ubuntu system partition and this is the CD-ROM for the Ubuntu install CD so let's look in there and see what we could copy downloads let's copy the bin file go back to my USB drive and copy just replace so now it's copied to here And uh, yeah, so this is how you copy it to a USB drive to your files. Yep. So if you want to copy it to a virtual partition, you go System Administration and Gparted. Since you need to partition it before it could be viewed in your Places menu. Like computer management for Windows. So you go to your partition that you want to format. This is your. Yeah. So there's nothing inside of it, so you need to right click it and click new. 
if uh, I go to slice the create partition table. And I warrant you going to erase your entire disk. So, yeah. So, click apply. So now I think you can add it. Yeah. So you could let's make a fat thirty two since it's could be read by Windows and Linux and a Mac OS X I I think. So then I ask you to create one do you Click the check mark and apply, and you read over and go lost the data. So it's gonna take a few seconds, and it works. So the details and close, and it's doing something. So now when you go to places or computer, there should be an extra drive that's 633 megabytes and you could copy files to it like these two files I guess copy I also recommend storing your files on a separate partition so if your main partition, system partition breaks you still have your files. So thanks for watching and rate, comment, favorite and subscribe to my videos. Visit my website at johnsonyip.com for more computer help and take care. Bye.